The pain on my bonanza was nearly 30 years old, and boy did it look it. But after a weekend of work, it looks better than new. Seriously. Murad Zarifkar is a scientist and aircraft owner. He turned to science to find the best way to restore an aircraft finish. Learning about this thing called a ceramic coating. I was intrigued. So you put this on and, you know, you just do it once. Like, what's the deal here? And again, being kind of a scientist, I was like, there's no way, right? Like, we got to test this. We got to develop some sort of hypothesis and, and test it and, and see what, what it actually can do. So I kind of learned how to do things and, and test the different products and methods. And it's like, this works really great. And I started doing other people's cars. And then other people wanted their cars done. And all along, being a pilot, like, we're not doing this on airplanes, you know? Like, we're, we're using wax and kerosene and, and all these, you know, 1960s technologies. So I looked into, you know, how, how do we do this on planes? So we figured it out. Step one, a no-rinse cleaner to get the bugs and surface dirt off. Then, gentle buffing with a low RPM buffer to get rid of oxidized paint. The plane has been around for a while. Um, the, the paint's going to start degrading and it's going to start oxidizing. So, kind of, you know, your, your, your finish turns dull, so to say. Um, the, the paint gets brittle and it gets very porous, so pollution can get in. It becomes really hard to clean and it just loses its luster. At this point, a lot of people think they need to paint their airplane or, or somehow refinish it. We remove that top layer, which is oxidized, which is usually about one to two microns, and we do that through polishing. So that's what's going on in the background here. So once we remove that oxidized paint, we have paint that looks really, really good. And in some cases, we can match newly painted panels um, just by doing that process. Even a factory fresh paint job can stand a little buffing. So you see those? So, so you have your light reflection, and then you have little you know, legs radiating off of it. Those are holograms. And that's an artifact of a rotary polisher. So in this case, we're gonna remove oxidation, but we're also gonna refine that surface. And that's more like what we would see on a newer aircraft. That, that's the type of paint defect we uh, commonly see on there. You can see how removing the oxidation really brightens the paint. And then finally, the ceramic coat. And the ceramic coating bonds to the paint, so it, it becomes part of your paint and it changes that top layer to where it's a lot smoother and it, it has a lot lower adhesion to, to things like bugs or oil, uh, things like that. This particular product line is sold only to professionals. And the ceramic coat will stay shiny for years with just a gentle wash every now and then. Zarifkar quit his chemical engineer job and now details aircraft full time. An airplane like the Bonanzo cost about 3,000 bucks to detail, but in my case, it will probably allow me to forgo a new paint job for several years. And Zarifkar takes a great deal of satisfaction in every aircraft he does. I'm very lucky to be able to do this and travel across the country and work on airplanes, so. <laughs> Tom Haynes, AOPA Live.